Hello everyone. Today I'm going to make a, a quick video on uh, a monitor system I hooked up to my Mobius action camera. And uh, this is the Mobius action camera as you can see. It's very small, very tiny and it's 1080p which is why I bought it. And uh, it's very light and I'm, I'm quite impressed with its abilities. But uh, currently it, as you can see it has no monitor so you can't see what the actual camera is looking at when you're uh, aiming it. Now, not really that big of a problem because it has such a wide angle, uh, wide field of view, wide field of view that you can't miss your subject really. Just point it at it, you're going to get it. But you may want to get it in the center, you may want to get it adjusted correctly. So when I bought the camera, I bought the breakout cable with it as well. And that's, uh, um, I think, a mini USB to uh, these three outputs. So one output is video. One outputs audio, and the other one is uh, a power input for the camera so that you can put it on a USB charger and have it run forever if you want. Uh, but, uh, so that's how I'm gonna, I hook up the uh, car monitor, or backup monitor, uh, to the actual camera itself to use as a monitor, okay? So, what you're going to need, of course, is the car monitor, right? goes without saying you're gonna need a power supply for that monitor so and that's the only caveat to this whole video the power supply is 12 volts for this monitor because it's meant to go into a car so as far as being a portable solution well if you got a 12 volt battery or 12 volt power supply that you can carry around uh, then you could use this monitor as a portable solution but I'm using it more as a stationary solution or someplace where I can plug it into my car and actually look at what uh, uh, power it up that way as well um, the actual kit itself comes with a uh, uh, a stand as you can see your suction cup stand and a uh, breakout power adapter so that you can hook it up to whatever you'd like uh, like a you know cigarette lighter or something like that but um, I'm not going into that the only reason I'm using this monitor this way is to actually view uh, videos like this one to make sure I got the camera aimed correctly okay uh, you could use it for whatever purpose you'd like but anyway so first thing you need to do is hook the camera up to power or I'm sorry the uh, monitor up to power because without power you just got nothing right so I got a little 12 volt uh, uh, AC DC power supply uh, its output is uh, positive on the center and negative on, on the inside Sorry, on the outside for the plug and it's just off an old router that I had and like I said it's 12 volts which is what is required and as I don't know if you can see this or not but it says power supply 12 volts DC plus or minus 10 percent so you could probably go down to 11 10 maybe if you're lucky before it stopped working for you so let's plug that in and power that monitor up and all you need to do to plug power the monitor in is just Plug the AC adapter into the slot itself like that. Boom, you're done. Now you notice that there's two outputs out of that monitor. Uh, and one, uh, basically, it's for two video inputs. So you could actually use this for two cameras if you wanted to. You got one or two. And there's switches on the back to switch the inputs between the two cameras. Okay? So um, maybe I'll show you that here in a second. Uh, but uh, let's just get it running first. So first, first thing you need to do is hook up the yellow lead to the yellow lead on your Mobius camera. Obviously they're both uh, female so you need a male and male cable. So I'll just use a uh, male cable here that I have hooked up to my camera that I'm currently monitoring. So plug it in and boom. And as, as you can see it's got a suction cup on the back. So I'll put this up to the camera so it can, you can see what I'm doing here. And I'm not sure whether it's capturing it or not here. Let me see. That's the whole point. There we go. The camera is now, uh, what's in the camera is being displayed on the actual monitor itself. Uh, kind of, from my angle, kind of dim. So let me see if I can change that so you can see it better. Unfortunately, the suction cup limits my, my angle. Okay, so there we go. I'll bring that up. And you can see that it just goes into that infinite loop. But uh, basically, what you have is the your monitor showing what you what you're seeing on the camera and actually it's showing you live what I'm currently um, filming so that's kind of cool so 
that's my solution for a monitor, a portable monitor or a, a monitor for the action, Mobius action camera so you can see what's going on with it. Uh, nice things, A, it's quite, it's quite small, uh, you can suction cup mount it to whatever you want and it works just great and if you wanted to you can actually uh, hook up the two cameras to it. So I'm going to disconnect it here from the one input to the other input and it automatically switches. Um, if you had two cameras into it, uh, the switches on the back will actually switch through them. So the next thing I'm going to do is hook the two cameras up and show you that functionality. Okay, I've got both cameras plugged into, uh, sorry, both cameras ready to be plugged into the monitor. Currently you can see the live feed of what I'm doing plugged into that monitor. Now I'm going to plug in the second camera into the second jack and as you can see it automatically switches to the other camera. Now uh, to switch back to the other camera I thought maybe one of the buttons might actually be able to do that for you but they don't. So it's auto switching uh, so the next uh, fix for me would be to just make a switch or just do this. Unplug the, unplug the second uh, feed and it automatically goes back to AV1. So when you plug it in the live feed again it set the monitor senses it and changes it to AV2 and unplug it and we're back to normal so um, as you can see it can monitor two cameras $30 solution uh, not bad at all I'm not sure what the pricing currently is and all these things change but uh, I'll post a link to in the description to this little monitor so you can use it as I said the only limitation is that it's 12 volts so if you're going to use it as a portable unit out in the field, you're going to need a power supply that can handle that 12 volts. So, or that can give it 12 volts to make it work. Uh, you know, personally not an issue because I'm using it around the house around uh, and around my car so I can plug it into my car to view um, uh, the feed from the camera. So that's uh, my monitor solution for the Mobius Action Cam. Thanks for watching.